Hi, this is Alpha Uzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is differential equations. The differential equation can be classified into different types based on their type, order and linearity and based on their homogeneity. Now, in this video, we are going to start the first type, first order differential equations. In our upcoming videos, we are going to discuss all the types one by one. In this video, we will look at solving first order differential equations. The most general first order differential equation can be written as dy over dt, which is nothing but f of y comma t. Actually, there is no general formula for the solution to this one. We all know that a differential equation is an equation with a function and one or more of its derivative. Am I right? Let me write one example for you. Here is the example. We have an equation. This is differential derivative and this means that we have an equation. So an equation with a function y and its derivative. Okay. Here we will look at solving a special class of differential equation which is nothing but first order linear differential equation. They are called as first order when there is only one dy over dx not with only order 1 not 2 or 3 or other things. Okay, Let us see what is linear. The first order differential equation is linear when it can be made to look like this. Let me write the equation format where p of x and q of x are the functions of x. Okay. How do we solve the linear first order differential equation? To solve it, there is a special method. First one, we invent two new functions of x and we call them as u and v. It is just like substitution something or chain rule something. And we say that y is equal to u times v. And then we solve to find the value of u and then we find the value for v and we are done and we also use the derivative of y equal to u, uv just like the same product rule can you follow so far ok let us see this in step by step here is the step by step method for solving them first let us substitute y is equal to uv and dy is equal to u times dv over dx plus v du over dx into the standard format dy over dx plus p of x y equal to qx and then next step is to factor the parts that involves only v you have to factor this part and put v term equal to 0 by doing so we will get a differential equation in u and x that can be solved in the next step and then solve using the separation of variables I mean grouping group all the like terms to find u club all the u terms on one side of the equation and move all the terms to the other side of the equation so that you can isolate u on one side of the equation finally substitute u back into the equation that we got in step 2 and solve to find v finally substitute u and v into y equal to uv to get the solution so when you just hear the steps it will look somewhat dry but when we take an example and apply these step by step you will understand the concept clearly so here is an example for you here is an example so whenever you get a question like this you have to make sure whether it is a linear or not first is this a linear one yes it is of the form the standard form which I just gave I'll write it again when you compare the given example with the standard form you can understand that in the place of px you have 1 over x am I right negative 1 over x times y is this so you can assume that p of x is nothing but negative 1 over x and on, on the right side of the equation in the place of q of x you have just have a number a constant 1 so let's follow the steps which we discussed just now step 1 is to substitute y is equal to uv and the formula for product rule which uh, sounds like a product rule here so if we substitute y by this and dy by this this equation will change into just substitution no other calculation is involved in this step now step 2 we are going to factor the parts that involves only v that is you are going to take v as a common factor outside so among the three terms on the left side of the equation these are the two terms that involve v am I right? I, I didn't mean the word dv I just mean v 
So taking V as a common factor, you can write all the leftovers within a parenthesis. After factorizing the factoring the parts that involve V, you can just put the V term equal to zero. So this term can be set to zero, and you can solve for du over dx. If you add u over x on both sides of the equation, you will get du over dx is equal to u over x. Now we have to solve using the separation of variables so that we can find the value of u. So separation variable is nothing but du over d du over u and dx over x. Now put the integral sign on both the sides of the equation. So you will get ln u on the left side and ln of x plus c on the right side. By making c is equal to ln of k, you will get log a plus log b is nothing but log ab. So ln of u can be written as ln of x k or k x. So u is equal to k x. Hope you are clear till this step. Now we are going to substitute u back into the equation at step two. So we will get. Please remember that v term equals zero can be ignored here. So k x. This is the equation that we got in step two. Here we are going to back substitute the u value here. This term is equal to zero because we said v term equal to zero. So this can be just ignored. Replace u by k x here. So k x dv over dx is equal to one. Now let's separate the variables. I mean, I'm going to move all the x terms to the right side of the equation and keep the v terms in the left side of the equation so that I can cross multiply. So k x dv will be equal to dx and divide both the sides by x. So I'll be left over with k dv on the left side and dx over x on the right side, so that we can easily integrate and find the equation for v. Okay. Now cross multiply and divide both the sides by x. Put the integral sign on both these sides. So we will get k is a constant, so that can be taken outside the integral. Integration of dv would be Just v, so k v on the left side and on the right side. This is ln of x plus a constant c. As we did in the previous part, you can set or make c is equal to ln of c, so that you will get. In the previous set, we had ln on both the sides, so just we cancelled it out or taking, uh, but we just ignored it. But here, only one side of the equation is having ln, so we cannot do like that. I'm going to isolate y on the left side. So just divide both the sides of the equation by k to get the equation for v. So we got an equation for v. Now we are going to substitute this v value into the equation y is equal to u v. U is nothing but k x. V is ln of x c over k. We have got an equation for y. You can also produce a graph for this for various values of c. By doing so, you'll get a nice family of curves. It'll be just looking like this. So, what is the meaning of those curves? They are nothing but the solution to the equation, the question we started with. So, the graph for various values of c is nothing but the solution to the equation dy over dx minus y over x is equal to one. This is a very special case of first order differential equation, linear first order differential equation. Unlike most of the first order cases, we can actually derive a formula for the general solution. Okay, we would uh, suggest uh, that you need not memorize the formula itself. Generally, we consider two methods of solving linear differential equations of first order. First method is using an integrating factor, and second method is method of variation of a constant. Both the methods leads to the same solution only. The described algorithm is called the method of variation of a constant, and the other method, the first method, integration method, is the very commonly used method. We also discussed separation of variables in solving this problem. Separation of variable is nothing but a technique that is very commonly used in solving the first order ordinary differential equations as well as the linear equations. It is so called because we rearrange the equations that has to be solved such that all the terms involving the dependent variable appear on one side of the equation, and all the terms that involving the independent variable appear on the other side of the equation. And the integration method completes the solution. 
not all first order equations can be rearranged in this way. Please note this point. So, this technique is not always appropriate. Further, it is not always possible to perform the integration even if the variables are separable. So, you have to analyze the question before applying any of the method. We can discuss more about this topic in the future videos. In case if you get any query regarding this video, kindly let me know. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead. Thank you.